Hello, and welcome to Getting Started, 3D Experience Platform Basics for Sponsored Teams. Topic 1, Navigating the Platform. Before we're able to jump in and start designing, we need to actually understand how to get around inside the platform. The first area is called the compass. This circle button in the top left-hand corner allows you to see all the apps you have access to, as well as the different roles that those apps are under. For example, if I want to jump in and start designing, and I want to find the different X apps, as we call them, for designing, I can click on 3D Designer, and it'll show me all those specific X apps that I can use right here. Or, if I knew what I was looking for, and I wanted to search for something, let's say, user groups, I can type in user, and user groups will appear right there. Also, if there happens to be an app that you use quite often, for example, 3D Space, we can actually click and drag that and add that to the favorites. That way, we're able to use that app and find it very quickly. And if you have an app in here that you don't use that much, but you thought you were going to use it, you can also quickly drag and delete it. The second area is called the dashboard list. This is where all of your dashboards will be. Now, you might be asking yourself, what's a dashboard? We'll go into a little more detail about how to create one later, but the page we're looking at on the right-hand side here is a dashboard. You can see here, become a 3D designer is what's highlighted. You'll always know what dashboard you're in by looking at the top here. It'll say 3D dashboard, become a 3D designer. And then you'll see the different tabs of the dashboard. Depending on how intense you want to get with your creation of your dashboard, you could have as many tabs as you want. And each tab can have different information. In this case, this one both has two web page readers with information on learning. Before you jump in and start diving into the design, it is good to take a look at some learning content to get yourself a little more versed on how to use some of the different apps and features we have inside of the platform. Inside this area, there's also a very helpful learning content as well as communities. Now for teachers and students, we have communities for each of you. Student community is the perfect area to go in to ask your questions and see what other students are working on. It's just like a website where you can make posts. We have a wiki page with a lot of information as well. And we also have a different community for teachers to talk about what they're doing, what you like to do in the classroom, and so on. Let me click on this. It'll open a new window that'll go directly to that community. In here, you'll see a list of communities that you have access to, as well as conversations if you want to have direct conversations with users. But if I click on the student community, I'll be able to see exactly what people are posting and what they're working on. Also, if I want to learn more and understand what's going on, I can go to this wiki page. And we have actually created a very intensive wiki with lots of tips and tricks, learning content, and even some stuff specifically for first robotics. So for example, if you wanted to get the Andy Mark kit of parts, you could jump right in here, click on this, and you'll see that we have a kit of parts right here. Now, if we go back to the previous tab, the final thing I want to point out is notifications. Anytime someone mentions you in a comment or maybe finishes a collaborative task that you were assigned to or you're working with, it'll pop up in your notifications telling you what's going on. So this is a great way to understand, hey, my colleague has finished their part of the task and now it's my turn to work on mine. That is the basics of navigating in the platform. Thank you for watching and be sure to finish watching all of the Getting Started with 3D Experience Platform Basics for Sponsored Teams videos. Have a great day.